Hello everyone, my name is Mike. Welcome to a brand new series on Puppeteer in Node.js. If you don't know what Puppeteer is, this is a Node.js library that allows us to interact with HTML elements in Chrome or Chromium from any website. So besides just getting information from a web page, for example a movie title, we can also interact with it, like clicking a button, submitting a form, grabbing data from a specific element, take a screenshot and many more. Pretty much anything that you can do with a web browser, you can automate it with this library. By the end of this series, you will know how to run Puppeteer and open a web page, how to get specific HTML elements and attributes, how to navigate between multiple pages, how to download images and many more. So if you are interested, let's get going with the setup. First of all, you need to use an ID to write the code. I prefer to use Visual Studio Code, link in the description, but you can use any ID you like. Next, you need to install Node.js. You can select your OS and follow the installation steps. To make sure you install Node.js, open the command line by searching CMD in your search bar and type npm. If everything is installed correctly, you should see something like this. Then create a new folder named however you like. I named it Puppeteer Tutorial. Open CMD in the search bar by typing CMD. Then we need to create a package.json file which acts like a config file for storing information like packages, scripts, version, name, etc. That's important to run Node.js. To do that, type npm init and you can either click space to leave the fields empty or you can fill them up and click enter. When you have created the packageization, which you can see right here, or if I open Visual Studio Code, packageization. Once you have created the packageization file, then we could go ahead and create a JavaScript file named index.js and there we're going to write the code. Before we start writing the code, we need first to install the Puppeteer library. So I'll open terminal, new terminal, and run npmi puppeteer, which is the name of the library. That's the save. npm is node.js and i means install it's a sort for install so i'll click enter i open package.json after the installation is completed you should see it's adding the library right here it takes some time so don't worry also as you see if you have used selenium before you can see it's downloading chromium it's a different kind of Chrome browser, it's called Chromium. Further on the series, I'll show you how you can use Chrome instead of Chromium. So, as you saw, in dependencies, download the Puppeteer. For me, it's version 10.4, but you can use any version. Now, let's go to the Puppeteer documentation and copy the example. Link in the description. Everything will be in the description, so let's go in the description. Now down here you can see an example. I'll just copy it, paste it on index.js. To run the code, all we need to do is run node index.js. You can click tab to select the file by clicking the first letters. Click enter to run the code. And what this code does, first of all, we are importing Puppeteer. So we say Puppeteer equals to the library Puppeteer, which we require it from the one we downloaded. Then we are creating a browser. So we say Puppeteer and we use a function of Puppeteer called launch and then we say const page so we create a page so from the browser we created we open a new page and we say 
when this browser is created when this page is opened then go to a specific url here you can add your targeted url so for now we will be using example.com but you can use whichever url you like and here what we do is we take a screenshot of that page and once everything is done we close the browser and the code stops now something bugged so i need to rerun the code and boom it took the screenshot called example.png now if you need to see what's going on during this function what you can do is pass an option to launch function so i'll open an object right here i'll open brackets and inside here i'll put an option called headless and we will say false so by default puppeteer is running headless and what that means is it doesn't show you the browser so it's all in terminal right you didn't see a browser open up and the app taking a screenshot but now if i say false now it will do the opposite so if i run the code you will see the browser opens it does it real quickly but it still opens for a split of second and it took the screenshot and it closed we are going to remove the screenshot function as we will not going to be using it for what we are going to do and also comment for the time being browser.close as we don't want the browser to close when everything else is finished for this project we are going to use amazon.com as an example and we will be scrapping all the products from our category so i guess let's select a random category let's say amazon basics and we will be saving the information from the products in a csv and also store the images locally as you see we go down here it has pagination so for every page i guess it displays around 30 products I'm not sure and for each page it will have 30 products i guess like that's a random number i'm not sure how many it displays now it has a pagination as well so we need the script to navigate through the pages so it will click next 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 until the next is disabled so that's it for today's video in the next video i'll show you how we can get each product and for each product grab the title the image and the price so you see we have a list of products and for each product we will get those information as you'll see if i inspect element i can get the source so the url of the image i can get the title and i can also get the price anyways if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe hit that bell notification and i'll see you in another one bye bye